was a uh, uh, Raisi Mashinani. There was a bus that was being given there for Hoduma uh, um, centers for it to go around with government. Uh, uh, from what I heard during, uh, I think it was Mashmua um, Shabesh that was uh, introducing the subject. But uh, again, people wanted to look like. Of course, I would have loved Jeff if he was coming to do a four billion water project. If he was coming to do probably a super highway mm. uh, between um, uh, the central wards of Kambu uh, all the way to, to, to Rift Valley. But uh, to say he came to launch Walevis only, that is not correct. Of course, it gives us a, a bad image as Kambu, mm. as the home of the president, uh, that uh, he only came to do that. But I don't think, let's put record straight. That's not what he came to yeah. do only. What does it say? Of course, of, of course, I don't agree with that project sure. myself. Sure. But, but really, I mean, um, uh, guys were paraded there. These are your guys, these are your people. Yeah. These people were Mulevis, but now they are responsible people. That needs to be audited. Mm. Um, what does that say about Kiambu leadership? Sometimes I hate to speak about Kiambu. But they have what they chose. They have to deal with that. I, I can't help them, yeah. Jeff. You get what you deserve? Yes. This week, what you see is what you get. <laughs> so, so this whole Kaba Kabogo thing? It is real. And it's going to be there for a while, Jeff. You know, I said to Wanawaititu, when, when I was handing over, you know, some people didn't even think I would hand over. I remember. Why wouldn't I go and hand over? I mean, I've been told, pack. So I packed. And I joined everybody else, including senior people that I don't want to mention. <laughs> they were there. <laughs> they were and there. I handed over. Yes. And I said, I have two hashtags. One, to Jenge Kiambu to Kiwa Pamoja. That is still relevant even today as I hand over. The other one, it is you who will decide whether it is still relevant or not. Kaba, Kabogo. <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I keep calling my Tito to yeah. tell him one or two things. Uh -huh. And I'm glad he picks my calls. Okay. Um, Does he listen to you? Well, uh, listening is a process of hearing, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, he listens. <laughs> But if he takes action on what I, some of the things I see, probably I see them happening. Um, but we all have different uh, um, uh, types of leadership. But now let's move from Campbell. I have the energy. I am not asking for money. Let's contribute and build Kenya. Yes. Let's assume these people who are doing corruption. You know corruption, you may think, Jeff, it is by one person. Yeah, no. If you cannot take three billion shillings out of government kitty on your own, there must be clerks yep. who are processing documents. Mm -hmm. There must be clerks in banks who are seeing money leaving treasury and going to individual accounts, NYS and the others. Report, shout, and they will run. If miss is a good system, Jeff, you can track what is happening everywhere in the Republic through if miss. But there are guys who block if it's not to be seen. I hear there are guys who are still outside. They are not government employees that still have windows to see what's happening in government funding. All that would change if Kabogo was the czar. I'm not saying all. But a few would make people think twice about doing it. You cannot wipe corruption, but mm. you can minimize corruption. You know they would kill you. You know when the president came in, 20, 20, 2000 and 13 yeah. or 14. Mm. He said there's corruption in his office. Yeah, absolutely. And there is corruption in OP. Not just OP, he said it's a state house as well. Yes. But These are the places you hear a bottle of water. Jeff is 400 shillings. Government is supplied a bottle of water, one liter, 400 shillings. Petrol is 90 something. And it has come all the way from Iran. <laughs> If we are to export a petrol, how much would it cost if we are selling water at 400? Yeah. And they have no shame. Zero. No, they have no shame. Because they want to be as rich as you overnight. You know, the minute you stop entertainment in public offices, you will save 10% of the money that is spent. 
Magufuli did it. Yeah. You don't have tea and water in offices in uh, Tanzania. But he's a little extreme, though. Uh, maybe through frustrations. Let's go to some tweets, my brother. Let's go to some tweets. Monica, you ready? Okay. Uh, Engineer Mohamed Tache Dida. The political uh, about turn by some central Kenya politicians dims our hopes in the existence of a political honesty. It, it removes any doubt from our minds that politics was and still is a game of deceit played by thieves, won by any means. Isn't that true? Uh, partly Game true. of deceit, won by partly any means. Partly true. They talk about betrayal. They talk about deceit. Yeah. And you know, betrayal is nothing else. is lack of keeping uh, uh, a presumptuous uh, uh, sort of a uh, um, uh, contract. Um, and this is where you're asking me whether there was a contract between uh, the Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta yeah. and the Honorable uh, Ruto. Mm. I was there. You were there? I was there. When what, we were what do you mean you were there? I was there when we were negotiating. Was there a contract? We were four or five to start with. There was no contract written. Presumptive, it was there. What was it? Was in, it a... in terms of we support each other. But you have heard the president saying it here, Jeff. Why do you want to make me look foolish? No, but was it verbal? Is but that I'm saying the president himself said, yeah, give me 10, 10 for me, yeah, 10, 10 for, for him. Ruto. So if he has changed his mind, he will tell us. But was but, anything But I'm, I'm comforting Kenyans by saying the president does not elect. He can only recommend. But was there anything written? Uh, no, nothing. I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing anything written. You were in the room? I was outside. It was under a tree. These things don't happen in rooms. <laughs> they could explode. <laughs> <laughs> rooms have bugs. Yes. Moses Lina, you say, Honorable Kaboga, is Raila Odinga the most important person to Uhuru Kenyatta at the expense of his own party? I don't know why that question. It looks, it appears to be a narrative that most people have taken that uh, Uhuru thinks Raila is very important. But Uhuru is saying he is the leader on the other side. Mm. These are the people we fight with. Every election, these are the people we face in court. Why don't we work together? That is the understanding that I have. But if he has anything else hidden in between, we will find out. You keep, you, you keep saying that, but I don't know yeah, when... We are politicians. Yeah. You remember we are politicians. So you I'm not Mother Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, let's move along. The political fever and or the rumbling currently witnessed in Mount Kenya region is because of uncertainty. With the handshake, the handshake remains adamant on who is who for presidency come 2022. Yet the president's backyard wants him to open up on Jubilee's 2022 deal. They want him to speak. Yeah. He has refused to speak. Yes. What do you do? The guy doesn't want to speak. So let it be. Let's work. Let's develop. If you want the seat, come to us. Ask us. Jeff, if I want the seat of president, I will go the whole country, everywhere. I'll fly all over. I'll ask for the seat. And I'll say, if you elect me, these are the things that we will do. And you said you still might do that. I may. Yeah. Yes. That window's still open. It's still open. If I asked you to be my running mate, Jeff. Yeah. Would you, would you not? Just, when? <laughs> Tell me when. Soon. Let's do this. Let's ask around a little bit. <laughs> so we don't get 300 votes and we will be ashamed. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I'm afraid I'm going to give you. I'll bring you like three votes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Serone Chason says, Mount Kenya must pay back debts. Started with Raila Odinga. Pay Baba first, followed by Kalonzo Musioka, and then finally William S. Ruto. Remember Chinua Achebe? You repay all debts before the new ones. I hope Honorable Kabogo agrees. Do you? Debts should be paid, debts. But do political debts mean debts? Do you know Jaramogi Muse? He said no Kenyatta, no Uhuru. Yes, not yet Uhuru, that's right. Yes. Tinga then said Baba Tosha, I mm. mean Kibaki Tosha. Mm. Are those debts? Why do people want to say, if so-and-so recommends so-and-so, 
can you can you just look at this and say I recommended your girlfriend to be your wife? <laughs> what does that mean? Do I go beyond there? I've done my job. Yeah. Do I, did you need to pay me for giving you a wife? I just recommended. Right. And you said it's okay. There are no political debts to be paid. And this William Ruto understands. And he has come out and said there are no debts to be paid. You just mentioned uh, Kibaki Tosha. Yes. Do you think the person that Raila endorses, if he doesn't run... I'll tell you this. Eh? Oh. I'll tell you this. Raila is a politician like no other. He's a guy who can handle pain. He can a guy who, who can handle stress and a guy who can handle happiness. Mm. Look at the last five years, what he has gone through. Not many men can get out of that. Yeah. So give him marks for that. Whether he can become a good leader in the president, I don't know. If he says but if you tell me that we are going to form government and we'll be in the opposition, I will say Raila is a good opposition. He can bring anything down. Yeah. If he says, but is he the best? If he you says, know, if this he says, is where I say, uh, remember I say, it is good to do things right as opposed to doing the right things. Mm. What is the difference? The difference is, Jeff, I know how to make tea. Good tea. If you ask my wife, she'll tell you, this guy is tea, mm. super. Are you telling me now I should go into the city and start making tea for people? Because I know how to make tea. That's not the right thing for me to do. So we do things that are right and we do them at the right time. Mm. This country is yearning for development. I can do some really good barbecue, do you know that? I know, I know. Okay. I remember. <laughs> yeah? We need to do that again. We need to, yes. we need to. Engineer Lazaro Nyambok Fundi. Jeff, what has been happening in Jubilee is normal. People are positioning themselves to inherit Kenyatta Seat come 2022. Well, Kenyatta himself is keen to leave a legacy. No need of blowing it out of proportion. Okay. That is true, Jeff. Okay, okay. Yes. Again, Thank remind you. people, Jeff, mm. if history is anything to go by, we have never gone to the next election with the same bus. 2002, Mwenge. 2007, PNU. Yep. 13, TNA, URP. 17, Jubilee. Jubilee. If, the, if the past is anything to go by, are we, if it was a question in your paper, Form 4, what would you answer? It would be a new party. Is Jubilee in trouble? Uh, it looks like it's in yeah. trouble. Let's not bury our heads in sand. It looks like it's in turmoil. You have the vice chair, the secretary general saying the things they're saying. Mm -hmm. Really, don't you think there's trouble there? So, so, but you know, the, the interesting thing, the leader of the party is the president. Right. The deputy leader is the deputy president. When are they going to come and tell Kenyans, we're okay? We don't need your help. Yeah. Good we point. expect it Good point. As, as, as leaders. Good point. Junior Nyango, Central Kenya must choose which debt to pay. Either to pay Chinese debts <laughs> or pay the debt of Ruto. What date is, oh, that, uh, the MOU, which never happened under that tree? <laughs> D. Mkombozi, Honorable Kabogo for President 2022. He was able to transform Kiambu in such a short time. What do you think he can do for the country in two terms? So much more. I'll create very many enemies. <laughs> <laughs> You'd create many enemies, but you would run. I mean, you would, you would take a stab if you felt... Jeff, if we had a team of guys like myself, I, I give myself some marks. If we had 10 of us spread across the country with leaders like Uru Kenyatta and uh, William Ruto giving us advice and looking in, this country will never be the same again. This is a country that has potential. But as we speak, go to the villages. Boys with degrees, science degrees, they're languishing in poverty, they have nothing to do. And they're pissed off. And they're pissed off. It's going to blow up. Yeah. Yes, it will blow up. You wait, it's a time bomb. Mm. And this is why in Kiambu we started the youth fund, where we were lending money to these very educated people for them to do startups. That was 450 million then. 
I hope it is going on. Mm. If it's not, it's a disaster. And, and this is why I say I don't agree with the car soba business. Because you give them 400 bob yeah. and, and, and for doing a little bit of uh, uh, manual work, and they go back and drink in the evening, and in the morning they look terrible. Correct. And they can't work anymore. Yes. When is it that we will make sure that we absorb at least 50% of those who are languishing in poverty and they have the energy and the will to work, but there's no work. When is it that it will happen? I'm yeah. not saying SGR is bad, <laughs> but Jeff, if you put 486 billion Kenya shillings into the youth fund and assume half of it will go waste, in any case, there's corruption that is taking almost equal amount. Yeah. Assume half of it will go waste, but half will take these young men and women to the next level. Those who succeed will employ those who don't succeed. And the country will never be the same again. Look at the number of people, young people who are leaving school every year, Jeff. If things go as they are going, you don't want to be here another seven years. Yeah. The story will be different in 2022, 23. These guys will be in charge. And they can bring one of their own. They can bring a song of their own yeah. and say, we're going to make this guy president. And they would. Because he will give us all this money. Mr. President, you have a job. He has a job. It's only three years. Yeah. And I told you here the other day, Mr. President, concentrate on the legacy. Yes, big four. But you have big one that will give you better legacy than anything else. Dealing with corruption. Make a base that there will be never be corruption again. And the you know, successive businesses will happen. Good business will happen in, 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 in government. There will be no more theft. And so whoever comes in will not have a chance, even themselves, to steal. And then there will be national health, uh, you know, universal health care. Mm -hmm. There will be uh, industrialization because yeah. government money is building industries in the rural areas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Housing will be possible because the government can uh, um, uh, put a fund in a, in, a, in a national bank or commercial bank and allow Kenyans to access mortgage at 5%. Right now, if I meet the president tomorrow, Jeff, I'll tell him, don't build houses. Government cannot be in the business of building houses. You will build 200,000 homes. Then, mm. who occupies them? Kenyans, yeah. they will get mortgage at what percent? Put that fund in the central bank. Go to Bunge, pass a motion and say every bank must retain four or five percent of its portfolio for mortgage at five percent. Mm. And you will bridge between the commercial lending rates and this five percent. So we, the private sector, Kaboho and others, we will build the homes and these banks will lend money to Kenyans and Kenyans across the board will own homes. That is not rocket science. He will build like they build in uh, Kibra. Yeah. Then? Who will occupy? Allow Kenyans to be able to borrow. Let the private sector build homes. Hello? Three years. How many homes can government build? Are you an accountant by Make profession? It a, yes, that's what I studied in Punjab. <laughs> <laughs> we have many who went to Punjab. Uh, uh, name, name two people. Uh, most of the under secretaries, all, all the ministries are from Punjab. Come on. Yes. Seriously? Yes, yes, yes. Serious. So it's so number 10 in commerce in the world, Punjab University. Oh. Yes. Your successor went there too? Uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's Jeff, honestly speaking, I hear. I don't know. <laughs> I was there earlier, so I left. <laughs> We're going to have to leave it at that. <laughs> but when you ask someone what is record keeping, they should be able to tell you. Yeah. <clears throat> I say, Jeff, what's record keeping? Right. If you really did commerce. Yes. A big home, bachelor's of commerce. Right. With an accounting option. You should be able to say what it is. What, to every what? debit, there's a credit. What do you mean? Record keeping, why should you ask me? <laughs> it is putting your records right. 
you know. I'm just joking. Records as in LPs or? <laughs> <laughs> this world is interesting. Uh. But you know, some guys are gifted. You may not have this, but you have something else. Mm. Yes. Especially in Kenya, being street smart is important. W would a Kaboga presidency be good? I don't know. Good for many, bad for a few. Because uh, I, I can't do it alone, mm. Jeff. Mm. It has to be a team. Team. Yes. And I'll tell the president, look around and see who's in your team. Yeah. Are they helping you or are they not helping you? If they're not, kick their ass. That's it. Yes. That's it. There yep. are some guys here who are not helping him. At all. Yes. And they're still there. Yes. We see them every day. If you want them to earn, we can give them money. After all, it's little money. But bring in Jeff, bring in somebody who can help you do this thing. Give me housing mm. and let me run with it. I will sit with Central Bank and all the other banks. Can we do a fund, can we do a policy that 5% of our portfolio goes to mortgage yeah. at 5%? That's your contribution, that's your CSR. CSR. Some guys will never know what this is. No. You, you have to live within these things to understand. And they don't get it. When Mwanainchi is electing next time, I think Mwanainchi is now sharp. Kwanza usi elect mtu hana kitu. Mwizi. Watakuta kuiba. So umeona bunge wakiingia, tunataka nyumba, tunataka gari, tunataka hii. Ya nini? Kwanza tuweke hiyo mishahara ndani ya katiba. 400k. If you don't want, weka nyumbani. Right now it's a million plus. Then they want a mortgage. Mortgage, free car, free nini. When will they cut? How can you handle that wage bill? Plus per diem waki enda inje. Look at Kiambu, the wage bill, 70%. 70% of, of our revenue, of, of our billion. total revenue, 12, bill, 12 billion is, is, is oh, wage bill. Ridiculous. I even, I'm even surprised how we managed to show some good development. Mm. Right now, if you're in Kijiji, don't even wait for the president. First ask your governor, what are they doing with money? Now would be my second term. I would be calling the president to open four level four hospitals. But now they are white elephants. 75% complete. And I urge Waitito, he should finish those projects. You started them? I started them. They are 70% complete. I'm the only one in Kenya who did a level five within 14 months. Six floors, 375 beds at 850 million. Is it operational? It should be. I hear that it should be. Honorable Gabogo, good to see you, my brother. That's it. That's it. I mean, you said what you needed to say, man. Okay, if you were to tell the president one thing right now, he's listening to you, let's say. Kick us. Kick them. They're not helping you. You have nothing to lose now. Get rid of these shenanigans. Call William Ruto, call Tinga and tell them, now, Bana, you guys, I want to do development. If you don't want to do development, tell Kenyans what you want. Make it even a live show. Hmm. Yes. We are creating rumors. We are creating uh, vacuums that we are giving people time hmm. to think that, to yeah. think bad things. To make stuff up. Yes. You hear a guy doing a prayer that the president has moved to ODM. I don't know what. Uh, he's been rogward. <laughs> How do you tell the president he's been rogward? <laughs> Respect the institution of the president. Hmm. You saw Peter Kenneth saying it. Yeah. And we all not, have different ways of saying it. And things. he's not a lame duck. No. He's not a lame duck. Respect that office. Come on, Mimi, I can see you in a fire name. You get quite a tabu. What do I get up? I get up, Zan. Eh? Nakini Zai, Villa Nikiona, you match. I know he means he covet in a fanyaka. He covet. Watch this space. I'm telling you. Thank you very much, my But brother. time is running out. Time, tick time tock, tick tock, yes, yes. right? Thanks so much. I saw Joho telling him, Tulikuwa hapa, kwa hii jukua. Hapa hapa, tulikupaka. Imagine, Bwana. This is a good president. Now they're tight like this. Kabisa. They're dancing together. Yes, but what are we going to get out of it? Is it personal? Or is it for the country? 
On that note. Are we changing the Katiba? We audit the Katiba first. Yeah. Let's not run to change Katiba. Britain, the, Britain doesn't have a Katiba. No, it doesn't. It's an understanding between those who govern and those who are governed. Yeah. Why do we want to make some seats for some people, Jeff? Sasa unataka kutengenezea fulani kiti na akifa. Deputy President. Na akifa. Na akifa. Deputy Prime Minister. Uh -huh. We are 42 tribes. Are we going to do 42 seats? To Jibange Bana, to wake him, see us a candle. Let's make a vibrant economy where we shall be happy to bring up our kids. Don't make me feel like going to Botswana. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Because at the rate we are going, you may want to keep one foot in in the city and the other foot elsewhere. In Gabs. Yes. William Kaboga, thanks so much, man. It's a pleasure. Appreciate it. First guest of the year. You started off on a wow, smoking I love it. note. Nice. Smoking. Keep you it didn't up, use man. that. You know, I haven't used this in a long time. Monica, is this working? In a new. Is it gonna work? Where are we? <laughs> it works. Good. It works. Give that to Uru Kenyatta. Don't go and extinguish everybody. Yes. <laughs> William Kaboga, folks, watch this space. This when man, is the last time Raila Odinga was here? He's never been. Why don't you call him? I've now? tried. William Ruto wouldn't come. Why? Maybe they prefer to be interviewed by others, which is okay. I can't interview everybody. They need to come here. It's okay. And bring me with them. Hello. Yeah. How about the president? Uh, he won't come here. <laughs> uh, we'll take the bench there. Yes. yes. We'll take the bench. And, and the garden. At the garden? Yes. Correct. By the way, we lost uh, um, a good friend of ours. Bruce of the Umbo. Yeah, rest yes. in peace, Bruce. Good guy. Yes, Good I guy, met him Bruce. many years ago. Did you? Eh? Mombasa. Mm. He used to do spins. I went to school with him. Ah, uh, you were in that get... group. Yes. Well, I wasn't in the group. You were oh, in oh. that school. <laughs> That's a good school. It was a good school. Produced good people. It did. Rest yes. in peace, Bruce. Cousin Brucey, I call him. Cousin Brucey. Lala Salam. Yes. Thank you, Monica. Is that telling me we've got to leave? Thanks so much for being a part of uh, JKL. Remember, every Wednesday, it's all about those three letters on the keyboard that follow each other. JKL. Thanks so much. Uh, every Wednesday evening, 9 p.m. Tomorrow morning on Hot 96, join Professor Hamo and myself on the hottest breakfast show in all of Africa. Hashtag Jeff and Hamo on Hot. In the meantime, keep tweeting. At Koinangi Jeff, at Susan TV Kenya. The hashtag is JK Live. Good night, good luck, and God bless this amazing country of ours called Kenya. And William Kabobo.